Good morning, Walk on the Planet Mojo. Today, we're going to start the end of year punch list on the tiny house. Give you a little look at the outside. We're all done with the trim, the siding. I patched the roof. We have the communications comes right through the wall here. It's wrapped up and sealed up in house wrap. And we're gonna do something along those lines with the water. The water is gonna come out right in here somewhere. We're gonna plug that off and that's gonna wait for next year as well. I believe the only thing left to do out here, I can do trim and stuff if the weather's okay, but I doubt that I'll be able to get to that. The last thing I absolutely need to do is get this painted white and put the faucets over that so I can run the plumbing on the inside. The inside work, I made the punch list and we'll go look at that right now and then bring the gator up here and I'll get started with that stuff. I made this punch list up last night. We're gonna go through it and then get to work. Uh, for the next couple days, we're just gonna do stuff on the punch list. So it's probably gonna be, I'm gonna guess three videos, but it could be four. I wanna get this done by the end of the week. Natalie is on vacation right now, so I'd like to get this done before she gets back. So, without further ado, let's go over this. Cut all nails. There's a lot of nails sticking through the OSB from the siding and from putting up the OSB itself. All of those need to be cut off. I have a grinder in the back of the gator waiting to go. Finish the wiring. Metal covers over water and close electricals. Some of the electrical is right next to the face of the studs. That has to be covered up, especially that big old wire that's in there. But all of the water and any of the close electrical has to be covered with a metal plate. Remove AC and house wrap over the hole, kind of like I did for the communication stuff. Once I take that out, I'm just gonna house wrap over the hole and we're gonna insulate it from the inside and it'll be good to go until next year. Uh, paint that blocking, I showed you that. We have a tiny little thing of paint for that. Install faucet, I showed you that as well. Uh, run the main PEX line through the wall, I pointed that out as well. And then all drywall blocking and I have no idea what needs to be done there, but where like the ceiling panels go across and hit the end wall, I know I did the other side where it connects to the older building, but I'm not exactly sure what I have done on the other side. So that can be anything from an hour or two to a whole day thing. Okay, blocking. And then I need to empty the place out completely. Everything has to go out. Then I'll bring some sawhorses over there. I think I got that on here too. Bring some sawhorses over there and the stuff for drywalling. And I'll show Natalie a little bit how to do it. She still has insulation to put in as well. So she's going to be insulating, then drywalling, and then she's going to try doing the mudding but I may have to do the mudding in there, but whatever, that will be in a few weeks or so. And then this just notes on running the water line, teach Natalie to drywall, and this is how much drywall I need to pick up. I'll have to do that at the end of the week. In theory, I need like 12 and a half sheets, but could be more, could be less. I'm going to pick up 10 when I go. And if we need more, we'll go get it. We don't want extra drywall laying around. 
this is just kind of the Z pattern for the water line that I drew out. So today, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring this with me, but I'm gonna be cutting nails for a while. And then once I'm done with that, I'm gonna start drilling for all of these outlets and start pulling wire. That should probably take me to the end of the day and we'll go from there. Wherever we end up, we'll go on to the next thing and we're gonna get this done. I got the place cleaned and organized yesterday so that I could just come in here and start working. But right away, I found a bunch of nails that need to be cut that are behind this. So it is what it is. I really should get the nails cut on the entire place before I start work on the plumbing and the electrical. So once I get everything I can reach done, this is on wheels. It's not going to be that big of a deal, but I'll get the ones behind here cut as well. Okay, I got all of the nails cut that I could get at. Any of the remaining ones, they're just in the corners there. We're going to push insulation behind them and then insulate those corners before we insulate the wall. I can't get at those, but you don't want to push insulation right over the top of them because you'll have like a tent with no insulation in it, and we don't want that. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is run this water line. I have that stuff on my phone. The main line is going to go eight inches up and then it's going to drop at an angle like I showed you earlier and it's going to drop down to about five and a half inches. I'm going to make it five and a half inches and then it's going to connect with the water here later on once I get this kitchen cabinet in or the sink cabinet in. The water heater and all kinds of stuff goes in this cabinet. That's going to be pretty interesting, but that's for a later date. Let's move that box. That box goes all the way down, and then that line is going to be a half inch in from the edge, and it's going to be a 7 8 inch hole. I tried using my long bit to get through out there but the bit was way too dull okay and i thought this was going to be seven eighths but it needs to be an inch so yeah i'm not exactly sure how i'm going to do this i need a fitting right here so i'll just cut a short length of this and then push what's left through there and this is the fitting that's going to go on there and that'll get connected to this that goes over to the refrigerator ice maker box over there okay yeah i keep running over across the street for almost everything i do this is so exhausting working on this tiny house. I thought I had everything I needed in the gator, but no way. Okay, let's get a piece of that cut off. Now we can go way back to here. And then we'll just put the fitting on right here. And yeah, I have to go back there again for something. So let me do that and then we'll get this fitting on. Let me get you caught up here. I've just ran ahead and got stuff done. I've had to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. I just got back from getting the hammer so that I could put a box in down there. Got a couple more to go. So I have the main line in 
and should be able to see it out there. There it is. Not exactly sure what I'm going to do with that out there yet, but we'll figure something out. And I have my three quarter, three quarter, half inch T in place, and the crimp is inside the wall here. I'm really hoping this stuff doesn't leak. That would be a total nightmare. But we're going to have to get this entire thing insulated and drywalled before we can test it out. So if it does leak, I'll cut the drywall in that area and we'll deal with it. But I've never had a PEX fitting leak yet, so we should be good. All right, now I gotta wire this, that. These are two circuits here. Got a circuit here, three. This is for the lights, that is four. And this one is for the counter, and that's five. We also have two more here that come from the other panel in there. Got plenty of outlets. Yeah, we just have, we have a big sink here, a little counter here that has them outlets right there, and a longer counter here that has two, four, six outlets, and that's a switch. Well, actually, I can put a 15 amp outlet on this and one of those sideways switches, but then I would need... A GFCI. I probably need, yeah, I need a GFCI for that one as well. And, well, I need it for all of these. Except, I don't know. I'll have to go look at the uniform dwelling code and see what they say. I believe I'm going to need GFCI for all of these. Except for possibly that one there. But that's not a big deal. Okay, it's getting late. I had kind of a late start, so let me kind of ponder on where I'm going to put these holes, and we'll get the boxes nailed in place and get the holes drilled, and I think I'll probably pull the wire tomorrow. Like I said, it's getting late already, and I need to get a video produced tonight. We'll see how much time we have left. Okay, that was pretty easy to figure out. My last box is right here. Those are already wired, so my last hole can go right here, and I'll just go up high up here, and we can drop down for the one going outside, and for that box down there, and up to these, and bada bing, bada boom. Maybe, with any luck, I'll get some wire pulled today, but we'll see on that. All of these boxes are going to be in the middle of the backsplash above the counter. And the bottom needs to be 42 and an eighth. So we'll get these marked off and nailed into place and then start drilling some holes. Well, we'll have to mark for the holes as well. Let me show you where I'm at before I get this entire thing done. I have this entire wall completely wired. It turns out I had thought that 
I had wired this from the other side, but I didn't. So I had to go back and run that wire. I also forgot about lights on the ceiling and I had to run that entire circuit. And then I also forgot about the smoke detector that needs a three wire that's gonna go into the next building. And that's what that is up there. So I forgot about a lot of stuff. So there was a lot more than what I was thinking at first. I didn't video because I forgot the camera the first day, the day that I got the most done. A lot of this is drilling and the drilling went real bad. It's like I hit a nail in every single 2x4 on the way through and I had to drill two sets of holes through there. So that was kind of difficult and hot and sticky. It's been hot lately and it's hot out there right now. But if I leave the door open, the place fills up with flies and Asian beetles and box elders. Hopefully this video is going to work. I was talking about something over here. This circuit right here is going to go on the other side of the wall. So this is just wired up temporary so that there's something that works for the overhead lights until the addition is built. I believe that's what I was talking about, but I really can't remember. Anyways, I am completely done with the wiring and we're gonna go check that off of the punch list and jump right on to what's next, which is the blocking up in this area. Everything has to have a place where the drywall can screw to on both sides. Got one there and one there. And that can be a little bit difficult because it's a lot of little pieces of wood like in this corner right here. You can go that way and that way. And on this side, you can only go this way. I need to get blocking on this side. So what I gotta do after lunch, this has already been, I think six days since I started this, but I had to run to town twice for breakers and miscellaneous stuff. So, it is what it is. This right here, the outside is painted. I'll show you that some other time, but the outside is painted and it got its last coat. Oh, that was probably an hour ago. So I'm gonna let that dry. And then I don't know if I should put the unit in there or if I should wait. That goes in and will push into the cabinet. So the cabinet needs to be in place and I need to have the fittings on the end and the pecs on the end. I need to have pecs on the end and push it through into the cabinet and then we'll hook it up to the water lines and stuff from there. So not 100% sure what I'm gonna do on that, but at a bare minimum, I'm gonna plug up them holes I just got done vacuuming up hundreds and hundreds of Asian beetles. Some people call them stink bugs because they stink like crazy if you step on them. And you'll have them all over the floor like this. And you step on them and they stink. Yeah, three of them that I missed. Oh, the vacuum was right over that. But I had a window full. Yeah, I just vacuumed all of the stink bugs out of this window and there's another one i did the same with the skylights and looky there like a half dozen of them so i'm gonna go do that again but i need to come back in here and figure out all the little pieces of wood for the blocking for natalie to get going on the insulation and then i'm going to be teaching natalie how to drywall she wants to learn how in case she gets a fixer upper home someday. So that'll be interesting as well. So the next video out here will be doing the rest of the punch list. 
and then I'll be out of here for, I don't know, maybe two, three weeks while Natalie works on this other stuff. So I don't know if I'm going to be recording any of that, but I might. So if you want to see those videos and or any of the other videos I'm doing, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And if you share the video and or give it a like, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.